Gypsy and her pal Jasper will spend hours at this game. One thing Carlisle Stockton doesn't want them catching is a tick-borne illness. It's definitely a concern. Um, my one dog has gotten Lyme disease, ehrlichiosis, anaplasm, all those in the past, so it's a concern every single day. During tick season, the dogs get a daily dose of tick repellent. But here in Dutchess County, where tick-borne illness rates for dogs and humans are among the highest in New York, Work is underway to see if tick reduction can be effectively accomplished on a large scale in entire neighborhoods. Reduce ticks at such numbers to such low numbers that we can actually prevent people from getting sick, prevent Ill cases of illness. Bard College biologist Dr. Felicia Keesing is co-director of the Tick Project. Researchers recruited more than a thousand homeowners in 24 Dutchess neighborhoods where they've placed these baited rodent boxes. This animation shows when a critter enters, it gets a dose of a tick killing chemical. A second method being tested, spraying a biopesticide called MET 52, made of fungus spores that kill ticks. This is a blind study, so homeowners don't know if there is tick killing chemical in those rodent boxes or if the stuff being sprayed on their property is MET 52 or just plain water. Researchers will monitor tick populations and the number of tick borne illnesses being diagnosed. And are we seeing fewer cases of illness in the properties that are getting these tick reduction treatments? They want to know if these methods work alone or in tandem. If they do, wide scale use could be coming to a tick infested neighborhood near you. In Dutchess County, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.